Hi everyone, uh, I'm Ayn Liao from uh, the Local Digital Collaboration Unit at the Ministry of Housing, Communities and Local Government. Um, Boris, if you can go to the next slide for me, thanks. So it's almost two years now um, that we launched the Local Digital Declaration and in the spirit of collaboration that was co-authored and co-published with uh, 44 other organisations, lots of councils actually here I see on um, the participants list are here today as signatories and that was a joint effort between councils as well as central government. Next slide, thanks Boris. So on from the declaration, the, our, our ambition really are based on five principles. So firstly, users first, so prioritizing citizen and user needs, and, and then fix the hard, unsexy, complex problems, but so vital um, in uh, local authorities so that we can break that dependence on inflexible and expensive technology that just doesn't join up effectively. Thirdly, we want to design safe and secure and useful ways of sharing information. And fourth is to demonstrate leadership in creating the conditions for genuine organization transformation to happen. And lastly, working in the open wherever we can. So sharing our plans and experience and approaches and working collaboratively with other organizations and reusing good practice. So that's what the kind of like principle is, is based on. Next slide, thanks Boris. So after two years, we have 220 plus signatories. I think 206 of those are council. So it's amazing to see almost like three quarters of uh, councils in, in England sign up to the declaration and committing to these principles. We've also trained a hundred, I uh, was sorry, not a thousand and a hundred plus officers in the free um, digital kind of training that we uh, offer as part of being a signatory. And actually on the col collaboration uh, front, a hundred plus distinct councils have actually worked on the 23 funded projects so far. So going back to kind of um, that scale Boris was showing, we've, we've definitely shown that joint delivery can happen if we um, incentivize and, and de-risk uh, the barriers to, to collaboration. So you know, amazing stuff from not just obviously from our side, but actually councils doing great work in this space. Next slide, thanks Boris. So what have we learned um, after kind of like two years of running the program and seeing how collaboration happens um, in uh, local government? Next slide, thanks Boris. So the movement has been really key. Um, so it's amazing seeing uh, people come together. We try to amplify all the great work that councils are doing and also kind of supporting individuals in council so that they're not alone, that they don't feel like they're the only you know, digital person driving um, the change in their organizations. I mean, I've, I've worked in councils before, so I've certainly felt alone a lot of the times, but having that kind of decoration, having a community to come to and join with has been so supportive when you're trying to push through really difficult um, changes. Um, and certainly from what we've seen in COVID-19, that, that has been such a great kind of community that everyone's leaned on. Like we were holding weekly calls to share all the different approaches that councils were um, using in, in terms of their crisis response. And we've had like resounding great feedback that people just want to kind of hear what other people are doing, but also just to hear that they're not alone in the, the troubles and the challenges that they're facing, especially uh, during uh, COVID. And actually now as we move from that kind of crisis, crisis response to phased recovery, again, um, that kind of sharing best practice, sharing of like the different approaches as councils look at reopening services have been really well received. Next slide, thanks Boris. Um, so as, as part of the declaration, it's based on GES's um, service manual sort of standard and the technology code of practice. Um, so we've kind of put into a kind of more local version of what uh, good digital delivery and good uh, local services can look like. And it, from like our experience and what we've heard from councils, the declarations not only have like introduced and enable councils to kind of say, this is what we want to do. This is the approach that we want to take. But also like, through the training, they've been able to use that to kind of start using agile practices start using like digital marketplace and then start introducing service design and uh, user research into um, their, their councils. So there's been so much great stories of uh, councils being able to kind of use that as like a, a flag to say, this, this is where we're going and this is what, what we need to do. Next slide, thanks Boris. 
Um, and one thing that we have kind of proven is councils can come together to solve uh, common challenges. Uh, I had a lot of reservations again when I was in Southern, you know, applying for the fund with a lot of partners that we haven't really worked with before in terms of, of councils. But actually, because we had that kind of priority challenge or that common challenge that we wanted to solve, we came together and, and we made it work. So we all know that collaboration is really hard and it requires that extra time and resources. Um, so you know we've tried through our fund to remove some of those main barriers. So actually funding um, that kind of a discovery and uh, prototyping into like C projects that, that councils don't have the money um, or resources to be able to afford to do on their own. Um, and also kind of in, in making sure that we incentivize and make collaboration as, as easy as, as possible. So in the first round, we had 389 expressions of interest. So it just goes to show, you know, the, the level of uh, the things that have to be solved in councils, but also people's uh, real ambition to kind of change it and come together and solve these, these problems. So again, amazing, amazing to see. Next slide, Boris, thanks. Um, obviously, it's not all plain sailing. We still have a lot of things um, to kind of figure out. Next slide, please, Boris. Um, so this, this is kind of from the um, research that we, we did on collaboration. And these are the, like, the main things that um, people called out from councils that they want to share. So uh, practical things from like business cases to budget, so um, procurement um, documents to um, those, those case studies, those stories, those lessons learned, um, those different approaches. Um, and obviously like sharing of um, code itself and other things like user research with interviews um, and analysis. So we're, we're still trying to figure out how to share all of this and how to make it easy for councils to find it. So there's been great work by Hackney um, with the user, user research library and we've also taken their kind of pi pipeline looking to improve that and tons of active people on local digital Slack um, asking questions, answering questions and sharing their approaches. And obviously you know, from code base, GitHub is, is a place uh, that a lot of the, like Ben is, is sharing their code base on. So what that right blend of tools look like, we're still trying to figure out with, with the community. Because obviously there's you know, pros and cons with, with each tool set. So that's, that's something we, we want to kind of continue to work on with the community. And, and next slide, thanks Boris. Um, a lot of our funded projects are now moving into alphas and, and betas. So we had to start to have this kind of conversation of, so what happens when after the beta, after the prototypes work and how we can scale and make a lot of these outputs uh, consumable by, by councils. So, you know, majority of councils want to buy the, the right thing. So we need to consider how we kind of scale these um, products and make them like software as a service and, you know, un Unbox is starting to kind of think about that as well, which we'll go into, I'm sure Martin uh, will talk about that uh, later on. Um, but we also want to make sure that local authorities can partake in that decision making and that shaping of the product roadmap. So we're considering um, you know, different commercial uh, models that would not allow, would only, would also allow kind of companies to be commercially viable to um, have that product, but also for, for councils to kind of be uh, the, the decision makers um, alongside with the company. So that's kind of like why we're so interested in today's discussion. It'd be great to kind of hear from, from you guys on like what we could do to make collaboration easier, how we can make our outputs uh, more reusable. Um, yeah, so just last slide, Boris. So um, you can hear from us on our Twitter channel. You can follow us as there, but yeah, can't wait to hear what you guys have to say about collaborating. Thanks.